As an institution dedicated to harnessing the potential of scholars to become globally competitive Filipino scientists equipped with 21st century skills and imbued with the core values of truth, excellence, and service to nation, PSHS WBC houses a wide range of laboratories that becomes the breeding ground of knowledge and collaboration. Welcome to the PSHS WBC Laboratories Tour. Oh, hey, Andre. Hi, Mabel. Great to see you. What brings you here? Well, I'll be requesting some equipment that we need for our research. How about you? Oh, we're going to do the same, actually, since we'll be extracting DNA from strawberries for biology class. Yeah, we're going to do that, too. Anyway, do you remember the last experiment that you've done in the lab? Oh, I do, actually. Um, we dissected onion skin and then observed the cell walls using microscope. What about you? Yeah, that one time we identified culture strains using the microscope. Oh. That's amazing! Now that you think about it, Visay Labs has brought us a lot of experiences and discoveries in science. That's true! But have you ever wondered what the labs looked like during its early years? Did you know that there were no formal laboratories in Pisay back then? Some of the available equipment before were just weighing scales, analytical balances, and some simple and basic glasswares. Ma'am Lailani Estilo, our former laboratory assistant, shares what the labs looked like before ng apparatos and other things are housed in, in one of the rooms of, of the girls' dorm. Because classes before was held in the boys' and girls' dorm. When she entered Pisay as a Science Research Assistant, or SRA, in December of 1994, she was the only one who managed all the laboratories in the school. Pag una ginakon, transfer dira sa, sa akad lab, dabla sa third floor, ang lab na na, ang tanang na gamit, physics, mga bio, ako lang na isama pang nagkwan, nagauyat. Back then, Ma'am Lani had to use a distillation apparatus to produce distilled water as commercially available bottled water was then limited for purchase. And since there was no fume hood, she had to use an electric fan as an exhaust whenever she would prepare chemicals. Wow, a lot has changed in the Pisay Lab since it started 30 years ago. Indeed, our facilities have evolved from its foundation to what it is now today. Through the years, Ma'am Lani was joined with other SRAs and SRS as the labs in Pisay expanded and catered to more students. Here are the component and efficient staff to help you with your laboratory needs for your classes and your research work. Ma'am Cherry is in charge of the Biology and Research Laboratories, while Sir Rusty handles the equipment in the Physics and Computer Science Laboratories, and Ma'am Amafe and Sir Abraham are stationed in the Chemistry Laboratories. You may find them at our lab facilities located at each of the three floors of the old academic building. PSI WBC presents its state-of-the-art and world-class laboratory facilities with modern and advanced equipment to ensure the safety and accuracy while performing experiments. As precise scholars, we are trained to be future scientists through essential skills from doing laboratory work and the character that we develop, such as responsibility and teamwork. Now, join us as we take a tour of these laboratories and taking a glimpse of science at work, starting with the place where we study life, the biology labs. Let's start on the ground floor of the old Akad building, here at the Biology and Research Laboratories. The Biology Laboratory Lab 1 and 2 are used as lecture demo rooms for classes of the biology unit. Experiments on biology-related activities are conducted here. Sometimes, Biology Lab 2 serves as an extension of the research lab for the students' preparation. Did you know that we did an experiment where we extracted DNA from various plants and animal samples? We did it here in this very lab and it was very fun, right? Across the bio lab, you can find the research lab where all grade 11 to grade 12 students perform all kinds of experiments as part of their research studies. It is the lab where all your curiosity and thirst for knowledge starts. But of course, some of you might need specialized equipment for your research, such as growing microorganisms and analyzing DNA samples. Say no more, because you name it, they got it. Introducing our state-of-the-art laboratory equipment and facilities. Our microbiology laboratory equipped with biosafety cabinets, autoclaves, incubators, water baths, hot plates, digital and dissecting microscope, and chiller. 
This is where we grow, isolate, and culture bacteria and fungi and aim for the discovery of new antibiotics, antifungal, and anti-cancer drugs. You might also want to visit our heating room, where new ovens and hot plates were installed. This is where some of your initial research processes may take place. If your study involves drying and mixing of extracts prior to extraction, this is the place to go. Our culture and isolation laboratory is where we store our treasures, bacteria, fungi, genetic sequences, and so much more. This lab is equipped with our latest freezer, autoclave, digital microscopes, and deionized water system, helping us towards our goal for new discoveries and publication in the field of research. And finally, we have the new and advanced molecular laboratory where we do denaturation, annealing, extension, and analysis of different DNA strands with the aid of our PCR thermal cycler, gel electrophoresis, refrigerated microcentrifuge, heat block, and gel documentation for the goal of global competitiveness in terms of research revolution and techniques. There was so much to explore at the Bio and Research Labs, and that was just the first leg of our tour. Now let's head on upstairs to see the home of Central Science, the Chemistry Labs. The Chemistry Laboratory caters to life sciences, biochemistry, and chemistry experiments for instruction and research purposes. It is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments that can provide both qualitative and quantitative analysis. Our specialized rooms contain instrumentation and other equipment used in chemistry experiments. If you want to know how much heavy metals your water sample has, then the Environmental Science Lab is the place to go. Here, you can find the Atomic Absorption Spectrometer that detects trace metals in samples using a light source with a specific wavelength. On the other hand, the Chemistry Instrument Room houses instruments for spectroscopy. We have our UVVIS 1800 spectrometer, which measures how much a colored chemical substance absorbs light. Just set it at the correct wavelength and it can tell the concentration or the amount of substance in the sample. Another instrument in this room is the FTIR spectrometer, in which you could identify the composition of materials and observe its properties using infrared light. Let's move on to the biochemistry lab and look for some of the most sensitive equipment. This is an analytical balance which you can use to measure the mass of your sample. This is so sensitive and accurate, it could read up to a tenth of a milligram. Do you wonder if a liquid is acidic or basic? Here, you can use this pH meter which measures the hydrogen ion activity in a solution. We also have a UFLC or the ultra-fast liquid chromatography which separates and analyzes how much of each component is present in a liquid sample. You might have heard about the fume hood earlier which is a ventilation device used to limit exposure while preparing toxic chemicals, especially those which emit harmful fumes and vapors. And finally, we move on to the Integrated Science Lab where the rotary evaporator is located. It works similar to evaporation wherein the liquid or solvent is removed from a sample. This is usually performed in the extraction of oil or other useful extracts from a plant. Indeed, our chemistry labs have a lot to offer. I wish you would have the opportunity to experience and use them for your research and chemistry classes. Now let's look into innovation and technology as we look into the labs of the technology unit. Tired of the humdrum of academic life? Feel free to visit Hilimuan to energize your weary soul. This is a space where scholars can explore their creativity, make something through self-expression, and celebrate God's gift as manifested in various gifts and talents. Be it in painting, drawing, sewing, and crafts. Are you familiar with 3D printing or do you want to make your own robots? Well, check out this Makerspace Center where you can do all these things and more. We have our 3D printer, laser cutter, engraving machine, and 3D used to design and create your prototype. Check out our robotics and Arduino lab where we create our own robots and operate them. We even send some of them to various local and international competitions. Come on! Let's stay for a while. I want to make my own design too. Well, okay, but we need to go upstairs and visit the other labs first. I'm sure if you love gaming, you're gonna love this one. Wait. I thought we were playing online games. 
I didn't exactly say that, but here with the programming tools in the computer science lab, you can actually make your own game. Although sometimes it gets frustrating if you can't get it right, it's still interesting when you create programs using different programming languages, right? Yeah. And you can also create cool designs for your website using HTML and CSS. And don't forget about our new smart classrooms nearby. Come on, let's take a look. The smart classroom is equipped with an audio system, HD smart TVs, an interactive projector, and Apple iPads suitable for more engaging and interactive learning. Those are a lot of cool techie stuff inside. Now, let's explore the world of physics. Here we are at the physics lab where we conduct experiments in physics. Hey, Mabel. Which ones do you remember? I remember that time we built a catapult and then we did that density tower. We also did our experiments outside. Remember the steamboats and then the water rocket. And speaking of outdoors, did you know that you can see the map of the night sky from here at any time of the day? Introducing our very own planetarium. This is the first and only planetarium in Western Visayas which could hold up to 30 people inside. Here, you can see the bright stars of the night sky and its constellations. I can recall a few of them from Earth science class. Hey look, it's a nebula. Did you know that we have an extension campus in Guimaras? It houses a laboratory too. Wow, we are so blessed to have all these facilities for us to learn and discover science. Yes, we are. And because of our laboratories and through the hard work of our scholars and alumni, we are able to bring home so many trophies and awards from research and different science camp competitions. Let's take a look at the SLRC gallery where we showcase the fruits of our labor. I would always look forward to doing experiments in class. And with the best facilities that we have in school, we become more equipped with the necessary skills that we need in our career and develop a character to become frontliners in science and technology. And thanks to this, we made our school proud by bringing home various awards and recognitions from STEM competitions here and abroad. We hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot in our lab tour here in Pusay. We also hope that once face-to-face -face classes resume, you will also be given an opportunity to explore them yourselves. Who knows? You might be the one to bring honor and pride to us all. And to our aspiring scholars, I hope you become engaged in science as science is all around us. And it starts with a simple experiment. In our 30th year, we hope to move towards global excellence and innovation through our laboratories. Enjoy your stay in Pisai!